commercially flop action movies that are amazing. Is commercial success what determines a movie's quality? While the support of the audience is undoubtedly an important factor for a movie, sometimes due to certain external factors, even the finest of movies flop at the box office. What if you had an apple that everyone called a bad orange? That is the case for many movies where the entire motive behind the making is misjudged by the critics. For instance, there are numerous action movies where the sole purpose was entertaining the audience with some incredible stunts. It would not be fair to declare such movies as a flop venture just because they lack the storyline that you might expect from the Academy Award winner. We have assembled some action movies that did not really send the audiences in a tizzy. Due to various factors like a poor promotion or unfair criticism, these movies never had the chance to succeed. But we assure you that these are all hidden gems. Sit back and enjoy the show. Big Trouble in Little China, 1986. The movie Big Trouble in Little China is a potboiler that is way too much entertainment to offer. The story involves Jack Burton helping out his friend Wang Chi. The latter's girlfriend was kidnapped by the underworld from Chinatown in San Francisco. As the duo goes about their task, they soon discover the presence of an ancient sorcerer who wishes to release himself from a curse by marrying a green-eyed woman. The kidnapping was executed because Wang's girlfriend had green eyes. Can action triumph magic? We don't give you the spoilers, but let's just say that the synthesis of magic and action is as good as it gets. The movie stars the legendary Kurt Russell as the protagonist, and he does not disappoint in this stylish avatar. The movie might be a commercial failure, but the content was ripe for grand success. The movie is packed with humor, and amidst all the action, they manage to keep things light. The special effects in this movie are overwhelming for a project accomplished in 1986, and the action thriller is sure to entertain if you give it a try. The good news is, you're not crazy. The bad news... The One, 2001 Science fiction and martial arts are a deadly combo, and The One is all about exploring this collective genre. The story is that of a policeman who uses wormholes to travel into alternate universes. He hunts down the various versions of himself in parallel worlds, and he does so with the belief that when accomplished, he would be invincible and godlike. He does manage to kill off 123 versions of himself, but does he succeed in his mission entirely? The movie is packed with elements of thrill and deals with concepts like interdimensional travel and multiverses that fascinate the viewers. The actors, Jet Li and Jason Statham, pack quite a punch, and the martial arts fight sequences are a treat to watch. James Wong does a brilliant job with the direction, and his style allows you to overlook the lack of rationality in some scenes. This might not have delivered the goods at the box office, but the action movie buffs would find this to be thoroughly entertaining. Shoot 'em Up 2007 Shoot 'em Up is as flashy as action movies can get. You have blazing guns and high-speed chases throughout the movie, and it keeps you glued to your seats. The story of the film is that of a gunman who stumbles upon a dying pregnant woman. The woman is assassinated by some killers, but the baby is now in the custody of a gunman who is determined to save it. He takes the help of a prostitute in protecting the baby, and soon gets to the bottom of a sinister plot hatched by a dying senator where he was using bone marrow from babies and harvesting it. Clive Owen as the stylish gunman steals the show, and so does Monica Bellucci as an attractive and smart prostitute. Paul Giamatti stuns in the villainous role and the direction of Michael Davis leaves nothing to complain about. Besides the sumptuous amounts of action sequences, the movie also has some emotional moments and the romance between the gunman and the prostitute brings a romantic angle as well. Believe us, if you haven't watched this movie, please do. It's entertaining as hell. Dredge, what do they want? They want you, kid. Same way I want you, only dead. <laughs> How do you know they want me dead? Um, <laughs> Titan AE 2000 Titan AE might be an animated movie, but that does not in any way undermine the action-packed story. The premise of the movie is a futuristic world where humans travel in space and interact with alien species. 
they come up with a project that sends the alarm bells ringing for an alien species named Dredge. The Dredge destroy the Earth with their directed energy weapon, and now the future of humanity depends upon a young man who must find a hidden Earth ship. The catch is that he has to find it before the alien species in order to harbor the hopes of survival. One of the highlights of this movie is that it combines computer-generated graphics with traditional animation. The story might be somewhat of a cliché, but the inventive action scenes are a treat to watch. Do not be mistaken by the animated nature of the movie because the darker tone does appeal to a mature audience. The depth of characters, the brilliance of the voiceover artists, and the numerous Star Wars references make Titan A.E. a must-watch for the action lovers. Solo, 1996 Many would love the idea of Mario Van Peebles in the titular role of an action-packed movie. This is what you have on your plates with the movie Solo, where this muscle-wielding protagonist is an android-killing machine. He was developed by the military and was being used in the Latin America War to finish off the rebels and natives. But what happens when the machine develops a conscience and a love for the villagers? To know that, you have to give it a watch, and we bet that you will not be disappointed. Solo might lack the substance that makes a movie memorable, but as an action movie, it is a great entertainer. The particular fight sequence between Solo and the android developed to kill Solo is stunning to say the least. If you are looking for things like depth and character development, then this is the wrong movie for you. But in case action excites you, Solo is one movie that you cannot miss out on. Double Team 1997 A counter-terrorist agent gets on the wrong foot with a dreaded terrorist. He now has to come back from retirement to save his wife and his son from this terrorist. If the plot sounds somewhat familiar, that is because it actually is. What separates the movie from the others are the incredible amounts of action in the movie, the fighting in the minefield, escaping a tiger, and various others. The protagonists starring Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dennis Rodman steal the show with their all guns blazing and all muscles ripping action scenes. The director, Sui Hark, is no stranger to action movies and does a great job with Double Team as well. He focuses on action more than logic, and if you try enjoying the movie considering that, you will be entertained. Mickey Rourke does a decent job as the villain, and overall, the movie is watchable if you are someone to binge on action movies. Heavy traffic. The Last Action Hero, 1993 The Last Action Hero is an underrated gem and the storyline is fairly interesting. It takes you on a fascinating journey of a young boy who has the chance to enter into a magical movie land and interact with his favorite action hero. Things take a twist when the action hero, Slater, comes into the real world and does so with all his powers intact. He could smash cars and blow up enemies in style, and this genuine and innovative plot means that the movie will never let a dull moment slip through. There is little to be said about Arnold Schwarzenegger as the action hero, and he impresses as usual. There are a lot of comedy and funny one-liners to tickle your sense of humor. The movie is a perfect spoof for several action movies starring Sylvester Stallone and Arnie. The film makes fun of the action movie cliches and also takes a dig at some of the roles by Arnold himself. Overall, there is a story within a story, and the unique concept definitely makes watching the movie worthwhile. The big screen. Highlander, 1986. What happens when immortal swordsmen clash? Incredible action is what happens, and Highlander, as a movie, promises to be just that. It is the story of Connor McCloud, an immortal swordsman who can only die from beheading. He is trained by another such immortal swordsman and goes on to live for centuries before trouble starts brewing in his life. An enemy, the Kurgan, has the motive of killing McCloud and obtaining the ability to become immortal. Christopher Lambert, Clancy Brown, Sean Connery, and Roxanne Hart make for a powerful cast and they do not disappoint with their performance. The direction of Russell Mulcahy is flawless when it comes to the numerous action sequences. As a fantasy adventure, the movie ranks high with elements of thrill and suspense. The soundtrack is elegant and complements the storyline perfectly. 
Special mention has to be made about the script and the screenplay, and of course the mind-boggling moments of crazy fight scenes. It is one of the great mysteries how this movie never managed to succeed at the box office. The Rundown 2003 from fighting oppressive gang leaders to treasure hunts, this movie is high on content that is sure to bring about the adrenaline rush. The Rundown is a classic action movie featuring Dwayne Johnson, who plays the role of a tough, aspiring chef. Things take a turn when he is assigned the task of bringing home the son of a mobster from the Amazon. He is soon in the middle of chaos in action and joins the fight against the oppressors. He also embarks upon a mission to hunt down the legendary hidden treasure. Peter Berg is known for his signature style of executing action movies, and The Rundown is another of his success stories. Even though it was not commercially a hit, the movie did become a cult classic and a popular name among the action fans. It is a wild ride, and if you can put your thinking caps to rest, then it will be thoroughly enjoyable. There is some comic relief as well, and seldom has The Rock delivered a more complete performance.